क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट टेन फ्रेंड्स द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस इवेल्युएट द डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल दैट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस फोर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स फ्रॉम द लिमिट जीरो टू टू नाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एज्यूम दैट द गिवन डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल एज इक्वल टू आई एंड टू सॉल्व दिस डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल वॉट हैज टू बी डन First of all, we have to simplify this algebraic expression, uh, which is given in the denominator. And as you know, that whenever we have been given a definite integral in which the numerator is an algebraic expression, so we, tr we so we solve that algebraic expression and convert it into the square of two terms, one containing x and other containing uh, a constant term, so that it can be integrated. So simplifying the denominator. First of all, I take the denominator. In next step, in this step, minus sign is taken as common, and uh, because the coefficient of x square is one, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the half the coefficient of x. Here, the coefficient of x without sign is one, so I'm going to add one by two whole square to this expression and subtract one by two whole square to this expression. Okay, so these two terms as it is. Minus four as it is, I have added and subtracted minus one by two whole square, and this minus sign is written as it is outside the bracket. Now, this can be written as x minus one by two whole square, and these two terms can be written as on totaling as minus seventeen upon four. On multiplying minus sign or solving this bracket, I am going to get seventeen upon four minus x minus one by two whole square, or uh, this can be written as. Uh, Square root of seventeen upon two whole square minus x minus one by two whole square. So, what I'm going to do in next step, I'm going to place this value for this expression, for this algebraic expression. So, I'm going to get the value of i like this. Now, next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to perform substitution, and I'm going to substitute x minus one by two as equal to t. Okay. And on differentiating both sides, I'm going to get dx as equal to dt. So when x is equal to two, when x is equal to two, then t is equal to two minus one by two or three by two. So this will be my new upper limit. And when x is equal to zero, t is equal to zero minus one by two or minus one by two, which is my new lower limit. Okay. Now, in next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to integrate this. Okay, by using this formula because the terms are in the form of one upon a square minus x square, so I'm going to uh, use this formula that integration of one upon a square minus x square dx is equal to one upon two a log of a plus x upon a minus x. So I'm going to integrate this, and I'm going to write that the integration of this term is equal to one upon two a, so one upon two into square root of seventeen upon two log of a plus x. Square root of seventeen upon two plus a plus t upon square root of seventeen upon two minus t, and this three by two and minus one by two are the upper limit and the lower limit for which this expression has to be solved. Okay. And in next step, what I have done? This two and two cancels out, so I am going to get one upon square root of seventeen into this term. And uh, first, I have placed t as equal to three by two. Okay, so this gives me the value of this expression for the upper limit, and this has to be subtracted from from the value of the expression for the lower limit that is minus one by two. So on placing minus one by two in this expression, I'm going to get this value. So both of these terms are to be subtracted to get the value of i. Further, these two, all these two can be cancelled, and uh, therefore this term can be written as. The first term can be written as minus one by root seventeen, which is as it is log of root seventeen plus three upon root seventeen minus three minus one upon root seventeen log of root seventeen minus one upon root seventeen one plus one. And here the same thing has been done. These twos which were dividing in each and every term of the numerator and denominator are cancelled. Okay. Now to solve further, what I'm going to do in the next step, I'm going to take. One upon square root seventeen common from both these terms, so I'm going to get one upon square root of seventeen times log of this value minus log of this value. So 
this can be written as equal to 1 upon square root of 17 log of the first term into the reciprocal of the second term okay so this will be equal to square root of 17 plus 3 upon square root of 17 minus 3 into square root of 17 plus 1 upon square root of 17 minus 1 multiplying I'm going to get the i is equal to 1 upon square root of 17 log of 20 plus 4 root 17 upon 20 minus 4 root 17 okay all these terms in numerator and denominator can be cancelled by 4 so I'm going to get i is equal to 1 upon square root of 17 log of 5 plus square root of 17 upon 5 minus square root of 17 further I'm going to simplify this term 5 plus square root of 17 upon 5 minus square root of 17 which is inside the log so this term is being simplified because the denominator of this term is a is in the form of a irrational value okay so I multiply and divide the expression the value with the denominator with the rationalizing factor of the denominator that is uh, 5 plus square root of 17 is multiplied 5 plus square root of 17 is divided okay on multiplying I'm going to get this as equal to 25 plus 17 plus 10 root 17 upon 25 minus 17 or 42 plus 10 root 17 upon 8 or 21 plus 5 root 17 upon 4 okay so this value is going to come for this value so I'm going to get i is equal to 1 upon square root of 17 log of 21 plus 5 root 17 upon 4 which is the required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.